sugar water for the rest of your life? Or do you want to change the world? Mm. So I ask you, do you want to stay in the house of yesterday for the rest of your life? Or do you want to change the world in this college? This is how I feel about status quo. Especially if it's Especially if it's a rotten status quo, this is how I feel about it. Okay? And this is how I feel about bullies. Alright? In the Philippines, I forgot my purple. I, I'm not an expert. I'm not a psychology degree. Uh, I have no psychology degree. I'm just a parent with 17 years of experience with a with a uh, person with Asperger's syndrome. Okay, and my bachelor's actually in political science and history, which probably from the mess I get left here, you can figure that out already. <laughs> this is me in college. Uh, this is the yearbook they told me to write something. So I said, to be silent amidst the society of error and the midst of injustice is to be complicit in all peace. Mm -hmm. To fight for a worthy cause, this to me is the only life worth living. Yes. 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 We were under a dictatorship at that time, so I almost got killed. Mm. Twice. Okay, this is our group in 1985, and these are the survivors in 2019. I'm at the back right there, acting innocent, and I organized these uh, young kids. They're still here. 2015 and 2022, we've grown to 20,000 members, wow. uh, fighting the new Marcus Jr. dictatorship. Okay, now let me go back to the, the real thing here. Um, Asperger syndrome, what is it? What is it? We always hear about this. Oh, he has Asperger's, he has autism, etc. What is Asperger's? Alright? This is how we look at the world, or at least if there's no Asperger's here. This is how we look at the world, this one. That one is how Aspies look at the world. When they look at the night sky, it's like that. Their neural system is different, differently wired. Let me tell you uh, some of the company that uh, Aspies have. We got Beethoven. Yes. We got Isaac Newton. We got Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Edison, Vincent Van Gogh, who drew that, or painted that, Emily Dickinson, Henry Ford, yes. Mark Twain, Alfred Hitchcock, etc. So, and Bill Gates. So. Rebels. Now, read some of my uh, my notes that I took while I was sitting there listening to Francis with her very wonderful speech about Zoom meetings. Alright. I hate bullies. And that's the reason I am here. I've been bamboozled, red tagged, blacklisted, blackballed all my life for having contrarian Contrarian views. I'm a rebel. When I see wrongdoing, I speak up. I don't just sit in the corner there and do nothing about it. Okay? Now, then I became a parent. I became a parent. And I waited for 10 years for a boy 
to come to my family because of my first child is, 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 a, is a female. My daughter is, and my son is 10 years apart. My, uh, my daughter is now teaching at the public school system with my wife in the same school building. <laughs> so I'm free from having to bring her to her place of work. This is good. All right, uh, what else? Again, I think I have asked people because I keep on forgetting this. All right. According to the Conscious Parents Guide to Asperger's Syndrome, page 25 of that book, uh, things have changed since 2013. The characteristics of Aspies are now lumped in DSM-5 under the umbrella of ASD or Autism Spectrum Disorder. These are the, some of the traits of an ASPI. Okay? Um, social communication is difficult for them. It's difficult. It, they're, they're, they find it hard to make friends. Eye contact is rare. Sometimes I'm like that too. Okay? Eye, eye contact is rare and they're unable to interpret facial expressions and body language. Like, for example, you're talking to them. And you're looking at their, your watch, right? They don't get it. Like your board. They don't, so they keep on talking and talking. Okay? And um, peer relationships are rare and do not last long. Fights with friends can be prolonged. Even with friends, they fight. Mm -hmm. Repetitive uh, behaviors or tics, they have that. They have that. That's a sign of last week. And very specific interest and almost obsession with topics. <laughs> that are maybe sometimes out of this world. Mm. And strictly routines. If you change the routine, oh no, you're in trouble. <laughs> Dad, why did you take this route? Mm -hmm. Why not the other route? Oh, oh it's, there's heavy traffic over there. But no, we should take the freeway, etc. Okay, very strong and usual interest. For my, my, my son now, Astronomy is the strong interest. Mm. He looks at the sky at night with his uh, NASA app, something like that, and looks at Jupiter, Venus, and all kinds of uh, constellations that I don't understand. Um, all right. Underreaction and overreaction to pain. Smells food before eating them. Mm. Smells it before eating them. Fascination with light and movement. Okay. That's him. When he was in pre-K, he drew the, Amer the American flag. He's good in baseball, but not so in biking. He can get balance. And grade school, he was a bully magnet. That was him. That was him in grade school. Great in math, reading comprehension is a challenge. Mm. And baseball hitter, ninety-five percent. Wow. Okay. <coughs> Here's how I prepped him for middle and high school bullies. The Art of War by Sun Chu. <laughs> okay, so, Guerrero, by the way, means warrior mm -hmm. from the word Guerra, right. meaning war. That's right. So, lots of chilling time with me, weights, everything else. Ooh. And I brainwash him all the time <laughs> about good things. Private in the school, bullying, worsened, verbal abuse by classmates and teachers as well. No empathy from the administration. Mm. And, but later on, he learned to stare them down because he's almost six foot tall <laughs> and the bullies are like this. What is wrong with you, kid? I told him. Don't get bullied. In public, we, we went from uh, Catholic school to public high school. Eleanor Roosevelt, Roosevelt uh, High School. He mastered the art of war and became the bully buster. He was like, is there a problem? When, when bullies are acting out, they go, he goes to them like, is there a problem? And do that's this. All right, uh, what else? Okay, what's important is that we have to bond with them. We don't ignore them, even though some of their questions are kind of weird and they ask it a thousand and one times. Mm -hmm. The same question mm -hmm. in one trip <laughs> from PG to home. 
right? Um, and you know, know his passions and share common passions. Like my passion is baseball and rock music. So if you're in Lanham Hall and you see a black car with blazing Led Zeppelin or the Who right, or the Clash from the eighties, that's me. <laughs> I'm friends with the police here, so we're fine. <laughs> and I arrived early, so I'm not disturbing anybody. Um, turn his obsessions into marketable skills. He likes to speak Japanese, and he likes to draw. So, and he likes planets. So, make an anime about that, I told him. You have to constantly uh, engage him. There's supposed to be sound here, but um, it's um, can we turn that back? No. Okay. Is my time up? Okay. So we go to Q and A, and I hope you have the uh, rebellious spirit to ask questions. <laughs> yes. At the back. So I don't have any questions really, but um, so I'm a parent of a nine-year-old with Asperger's, so I completely understand and empathize. I can mentor him yeah. on the art of war. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> you, can, you can also buy this book, yeah. A Conscious Parents Guide to Asperger's Syndrome, Barnes and Noble. Uh, yeah, I will. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Other questions? Yes. Uh, at what point was the diagnosis rendered? At fourth grade. That's the law. Uh, they have to, uh, like, uh, he was uh, diagnosed as. Uh, EDD, yes. the basic uh, <laughs> development delay. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, at grade four, it was diagnosed as Asperger's. So, but we already knew. Because at grade two, he Googled it. <laughs> yes. Ooh. And found it by himself. That is Asperger's. Hey, that I'm asking. What is that? Mm. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, we do. We do. We do. Any other questions from? The crowd. I'm probably this is probably gonna be my last presentation here because I tore up a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So your son is attending the college. So yes. Yes. So his experience coming from high school to the college, how has that impacted him? Him his oh. learning experience and the instructors. All right. You have to prepare him for college mm -hmm. because uh, there are bullies everywhere. Even in the job environment, there are bullies. Mm -hmm. And you have to know how to deal with these bullies. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm an expert in that. Uh, well, not bragging, but uh, um, in 1980s, 1982 to 86, I was an activist. And we plotted how to kick out Mr. Marcos Sr. from the palace. That does not belong to him. Okay. He was not. He was not uh, elected to the presidential position, so he has to get out. And now his son is back, by the way. Wow. Oh, that doesn't answer the question, but I like to put that in. Right. <laughs> right. And uh, there's another side. It's like it's not. It's uh, related to this. So if you have uh, any questions, uh, you can approach me after this or email me. That's my. You can take a picture of that. That's my email address. Okay. So that's it. Any other questions? No? Yes. I have a comment. Yes. Three of my top students had Asperger's. Mm -hmm. And they taught me so much. Mm -hmm. And all of the characteristics that you, you mentioned were ones that, that I learned from watching them. And... Um, Two of them were brothers. They had a parent advocate, and so he taught me an awful lot too. And they are doing wonderfully in the world of, of work now. Yeah. And I'm a better teacher because of them. Thank you. 
Is your son in Best Buddy, or are you a part of Best Buddy? Best Buddy, no, what, what is that? It's a program for uh, children and adults with uh, disabilities, really? but really? it's, uh, so look it up if you get an opportunity. Best Buddy. It's, okay. Yeah, and they offer a lot of, uh, so it's great for kids to be with other children like them. Okay. The adult, the 18-year-old program is called, because um, that's what my son is in now, but Best Buddy is what he had in elementary school, middle high school. And I can't remember that. I'm a senior to know what the adult 18 year old program is, but they have they have peers because that's okay. the challenge often okay. the children, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. 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 Because they blow, blow up the relationship. Yeah. Thank they, you, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions, Mr. Mays? You have questions? Oh, I saw your hand. Oh, thank you. So, I'm going to have a with disabilities and put the strain on the relationship. And also, they sometimes put a strain on other family members. Tell us how your other extended family members interacted with your son. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's a strain. Um, and can we, can we repeat the question as well? If you don't mind, so everyone can hear. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mace is asking uh, if there was a strain in the relationship between me and my wife uh, because of the disability, and also how does he, how does other family members, extended family members, uh, deal with the disability? Oh, yes, we have a strain in the relationship, but my wife is a special education teacher. Wow. And she's, uh, she's uh, teaching in the district. Yeah, there's a strain. For example, uh, this morning, she forced me to wear this pink polish. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Um, so I, I don't like pink. Um, but uh, she says to make you look more uh, less revolutionary. <laughs> I'm not about the extended family. Yes, the extended family is very supportive of my son. And uh, my son overcame the social thing. He's now a political here, like a politician. He knows everybody, the custodians, the guard, and, and almost every student here he talks to. Uh, the, when you advise him to not talk to strangers, I said, don't lie to him. He talks to everybody. Mm -hmm. Very friendly. Is that all I got? Any other questions? Do I have supervisors here ready to fire me now? Never. <laughs> <laughs> no. But thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Well done.